whatever you guys want to do. I'm flexible. How are you, sir? I'm fine. How are you doing? I'm good. Missing you guys. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, like a headache. <laughs> at it, but it looks, looks like I expected it to. Um, I'm glad it was done in the office, you know, because uh, the office is a special place for me, and I spent a lot of hours there, and it's, uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful place, a beautiful place, and uh, just pleased to have had the opportunity to occupy it for a while. When did the sessions take place? I'm sorry? When did the sessions take place? Months, really. Um, so it was, it was, it was, you know, a period, several sessions over a period of months. Uh, I think there was maybe a couple of settings after the election. Uh, I, I, most of it, as I recall, was, was before the election. Overall, what are your emotions like today? Well, I'm just very grateful for. Lot of people who have meant everything to me in my life. Family, friends, reporters, <laughs> um, you know, staff people. It's just uh, good to see you, buddy. Uh, you know, the troopers. Just, I just love these people. Yeah, they were they were so good, and they uh, it just. I really missed them. They, they were just wonderful folks. And, you know, they worked hard and cared for me, and, and I, I am very grateful. There seem to be a couple of hints during this event. I know some polls have shown if you were in a rematch, <laughs> you would win. I mean, what's the future oh, of Ted Strickland? Well, I don't know what the future of Ted Strickland is, except that I'm alive and well and uh, concerned about uh, my state and my country. and. So, uh, as I've said numerous occasions, life is good for me. I worry about so many people who are finding it very, very difficult uh, because of the economy. Um, but, uh, you know, as I've said, life unfolds. Um, and um, I try not to predict the future. I try, I try to deal with the present as best I can. Why do you continue with a website? It's strictly You know, I guess I did. You know, I've never looked at that website. And I wasn't even aware it existed until a couple of weeks ago someone told me about it. And then Jan mentioned it today. But, uh, uh, you know, my friends did that. So you have to ask them. Is that an indication that they're holding out the torch for? No, I think I think it's an indication that they're they're proud of, of many of the things that that they work for and, and uh, try to accomplish, and, and they just wanted a record of that. Are you are you ruling out you might be running at some point? I'm not ruling out anything in the future. It's, you know, it's I mean I, I don't want this is not the kind of occasion to have that kind of. Statement, but, but but I've always tried to be honest with you, and I don't know what I'll do in the future. Um, so I'm, I'm I'm not ruling anything out or in. I'm not sure this is a question more than a statement, but you've been on MSNBC yes. in Washington last week uh, on the conference call for the President and the Prime Minister. Yeah. You, you've definitely been busy. I have, and uh, I think it's very important that uh, President Obama is reelected. see that that happens. How does it feel to have this going on at this moment, at the same time that the Republican controlled Senate is dealing with the budget? Well, you know, I, I have some sympathy with folks dealing with the budget. Uh, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a tough time. It was a tough time when I was in office. It's tough now. And uh, so I, I, you know, I, I'm sympathetic to and uh, many decisions that they're confronted with. There was some question over how big the budget deficit actually is. How big did you think it was when you left office? 
Well, I did know for sure. Uh, the economy was starting to improve, and I, uh, I said that I felt like if the economy improved, that uh, there would be additional resources. But we tried to make conservative uh, revenue estimates because what I didn't want to do was to have a situation that I had faced in my first biennial budget of, of having to make serious cuts within a compressed period of time. And so as we put forth our revenue estimates, I asked my, my staff to make sure that those were conservative estimates so that we, we wouldn't be faced with having to make draconian cuts during the last few months of the biennium. Um, but, uh, you know, Ohio's economy has been showing signs of growth. I can tell you, though, that I remain very concerned um, that the national economy could uh, go into a double-dip recession. I, I hope it doesn't, but, uh, but I, I've said and I continue to believe the economy is fragile. And because of that fragile nature of the economy, we need to be very cautious regarding the decisions that we make at every level of government uh, regarding uh, significant reductions in investments and expenditures. You mentioned that uh, you have concerns about other people here in Ohio, and given the budget debate, is there anything that's in there that you're concerned about? Well, there's much, obviously. Uh, anything that you would like to weigh in on? Or? No. Uh, not, not particularly. I'm, I'm concerned... You know, I would be concerned if I were still the governor. So I'm, you know, when I say that, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm not implying that all the concern is coming from the fact that someone else is the governor. These are very difficult times, and um, and it's it, it's it's very very difficult to set priorities and weigh decisions and you know and make decisions that. Uh, in some cases, are exceedingly painful. You, you said that you and Francis would be fine. You said that a number of times. But have you had any tough moments at home, just kind of coping with what happened? With, with the having lost? With such a close election? No. No. I, I uh, I've surprised myself because I have I have you know I lost as a congressman, and that was a very difficult experience. I found myself sitting on the couch, laying on the couch, um, you know, what if, what if. I've had none of that. Um, having lost the governor's race, I did the best I could. It's a hard-fought campaign. You know, Governor Casey got more votes than I did. He won. You know, life goes on. And, and uh, so I, I really haven't had... Personal down times, or second guessing, or asking myself what if. You're taking up golf or anything? No, I I don't like golf. I can understand why any reasonable person would spend hours doing that, but you know I'm all for personal choice, and, and uh, so if someone wants to play golf, they can. I, I just don't. Since you've left office, you've been working on federal health care reform. Yes. Um, and, and you're obviously aware of the petition from here in Ohio. Are you ready for a fight if that gets to the ballot? Well, I think it would be tragic if I had to take that step. And quite frankly, I'm working on health care reform at the federal level through the Bipartisan Policy Committee with former Republican Majority Leader Dr. Frist uh, and, uh, and others, uh, Senator Daschle and but, but uh, many, many states, in fact, I think most states, even those with Republican governors, are uh, trying to move ahead, especially in, you know, in terms of these exchanges that need to be established. And um, so uh, I, would, you know, I would be disappointed if, if it was on the ballot, and if it's on the ballot, I certainly will, you know, will speak out. Because I think that would be a bad, uh, just a bad thing. Quite, 
frankly, I don't know what <laughs> policy implications it has in a legal sense, because federal law supersedes state law. And, but I, I think it would just be a statement of sorts that would not be particularly positive or helpful. Just like oh home week, isn't it? Yeah. Well, thank you for the gaggle. Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate it. It's good to see you all. Absolutely. It, re it really is. I, I'm not pandering here. It's just... <laughs> you mentioned that you were on MSNBC. I think you said the other day that you think that uh, Democrats could could retake the House here. Here? Oh, I think it's possible. And I, no, I mean, if you want to explain why I say that, uh, I'll, I'll do my best. Sure. Uh, there's going to be redistricting, and the Republicans are in charge of redistricting, but I don't know how they can do much to make the districts more favorable than they already are. I mean, they can do some tweaking, I assume, but they drew the current lines. And uh, I, believe, uh, I believe that... Uh, I, I do believe there's a backlash against some of the policies that have been put forth by the legislature and voted on by the legislature. Um, and I think uh, that's going to give the Democrats a, a real fighting chance uh, come November of next year. Uh, I'm not predicting it will happen, but I, but I certainly believe it's within the realm of possibility. And I also believe that's true at the federal level. I think it's possible that, uh, that the, the Democrats could reestablish the majority in the U.S. House of Representatives as well. Without giving us your home address, where do you live now? Uh, 5561 Chowning Way, um, 43213. It's, um, if you know where No Bixby Road is, I'm new. Okay. <laughs> uh, you, you go down Broad Street, you come to the final road to the right before the interstate, that's No Bixby Road. You go around the curve about an eighth of a mile, and we, we live in a condo there. It's a Columbus address. Yes. It's a, it may be officially Whitehall, but the address is Columbus. So, uh, 